Hello, I'm Ricardo. Hi, I'm Bruno. We are master students at the University of Coimbra in electrical and computer engineering. And we have developed an object detection system for the final product of digital systems project course. Let's have a look. Our object detection system uses Altero's Cyclone 2 FPGA and Teros X TRDB D5M CMOS camera to capture the images. The object detection algorithm we've used is the background subtraction algorithm. In its simplest form, the background subtraction consists in subtracting the background pixel data to the current captured frame. Thus, we need to store at least one frame, the background. One VGA resolution frame has 640 per 480 pixels with each using 3 times 10 color bits for RGB model. Therefore, each frame occupies more than 1 megabyte. As the camera stores the current frame in the SDRAM, and as we need the background frame to be also saved, we need the remaining free space in the SDRAM. With this process, we use about 35% of the FPGA's capacity. To be able to capture, store, followed by read, and then our image processing process, we had to use the clocks at the maximum frequency we were able to. And so, our camera has a pixel clock of 86 MHz and the SD RAM reads and writes go up to 133 MHz. After reading the RGB image from the SD RAM and before sending the pixel information to the VGA, we apply to each pixel the following process. Subtraction of the background corresponding pixel using the stored background. Conversion of the pixel to grayscale, followed by a simple threshold. And to conclude, a basic pixel-based edge detection to draw the red boundary. The grayscale conversion is obtained by averaging the three basic colors intensities. The threshold value used to binarize the image can be set in real time using the switches from the FPGA. The edge detection to build a boundary is obtained by comparing previous pixel values with the current value to obtain discontinuities. We will now see the system under operation. In order to start, one must click on the key tree of the FPGA board. Then, you can adjust the threshold value using the switches. This will enhance the object detection results. As you can see in the image, we are using a person as an object to be detected. By adjusting the threshold, reduce the noise and evidence the object. The image we're currently seeing is a binarized image with a white object contoured by a red boundary. Using the last switch on the FPGA board, we turn the color mode on. And as you can see in the image, we have the object bounded by the red boundary and RGB color model. By adjusting the threshold, you'll get a clearer image. As you can see, the results are quite satisfactory. With a dynamic threshold, we are able to successfully identify most of the objects. You only have to note that as we implemented the background subtraction using poorly lightened backgrounds or similarly colored objects to the ones in the background won't work as well. And also, the movement speed can't be too high or the camera won't be able to capture everything. There are a lot of possible enhancements to our project. These are some of which we can think about. Image filtering to improve noise reduction. Adequate edge detection with appropriate filters for the purpose. And different tracking algorithms with better performance. Thanks for watching our project's presentation.